Hi everyone, Mike here from Robart, and today you caught me up in our production area. Today what we're going to go over is how to determine whether a valve is leaking on a pneumatic cylinder or not. So what we're going to start with is the blue valve. So as you can see, what we're, how we're going to start our test is you're going to seal off both sides, co both corresponding sides, because this valve is designed to leak out air from the end of each body when your air cylinder operates. So when your air cylinder operates, when this plunger goes that way, the air that is in here, in that cavity, needs to escape, otherwise you'll have the same exact air pressure PSI on both sides, and this air cylinder will not go anywhere, okay? So, in your system, your valve is the only place where air is supposed to leave the whole system. So let's, let's start here. Seal off your corresponding sides. Do not go back and forth this way. What that will do is it'll blow air out here, into here and then out the body. All right, let's put air to this so that you can see that it is sealed. You can see the water moving. I am running air through my tube here. No bubbles, sorry, no bubbles, okay. Now what you wanna do is you wanna operate the valve to the other side and again, no bubbles. So. The valve itself is sealing up the system. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in two good air cylinders. Pop this off. This off. Okay. there. And then, now, this one goes here. Now, to make this very clear, so that uh, as you're viewing this, you can see I went with our pink line and our black line so that you can see it. Normally, this would be a pink and a purple. However, as you can see right now, I've got air coming into my center. I have an air out and an air out, both corresponding to the same side on the air cylinders themselves. And we'll drop this in. No leaks. No leaks. No leaks. Everything's holding water, holding air. We'll operate the operate the air cylinders. No leaks. No leaks. No leaks. All right. So what we've got going is everything is solid. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a leaking air cylinder. And what I have done is I've taken this air cylinder and. I've taken out the O-ring that is on the plunger assembly. All right. That's all I've done on this to really accentuate that there is a leak in the air cylinder. All right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to turn my air off. I'm going to pop this one and oh, no, nope, one side. I'm going to take that one off, and that one off, put the good one up, oh, put the good one over there, and, and I'll show you how bad this is, or how bad the air flows through without the gasket in here. Oh, 
Now, I've got air coming in, and you can see the air is bubbling out. So this air cylinder is leaking. What is happening is the air is coming in, going past the gasket and blowing out. Now, I'm gonna seal up the system. Okay, so, air, the air is flowing in. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop both of my air cylinders in. They are not showing any leaks. However, when I drop my blue valve in, that is where the, it's showing that the air is leaking from. However, we do know that this air cylinder is not leaking. What is happening is the air is coming in here all the way through past the air cylinder and then back out through the, the body of the valve where it is intentionally allowed to exhaust from. So when you're diagnosing any type of a pneumatic system and you and your show and it's coming out that the air is you're saying that the air is leaking or you're thinking that the air is leaking from the air valve what you can do is seal up your valve and then test it and then what you're going to have to do is just backtrack to each air cylinder a wonderful way to do that is with hemostats is start sealing off all of your valves or not your valves i'm sorry your air lines and then just take one off at, at a time and then you'll be able to find where the actual leak is so if you got any further questions on your pneumatic systems and you've got questions on these please give us a call at 630-584-7616 check us out online at www.robart.com or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.